Colossal Order and Paradox Interactive have really dropped the ball when it comes to modding in City Skylines 2, but thanks to some clever people in the community, we now have access to an unofficial mod launcher for City Skylines 2. To access this, all you'll need to do is head to thunderstore.io and hit get app. Once that's installed, this is what you'll be greeted with. You have a whole bunch of mods already available to download. Make sure you first download Bepinex Pack 5 as this is the dependency for most of the mods in the Thunderstore. Once that's installed, go ahead and browse the collection of mods and install the ones you'd like. Some of the coolest ones for me are Moob, which unlocks the map editor and allows you to import height maps with map editor. We also have Legacy Flavor, which adds a whole bunch of nice little UI tweaks, which really makes the game feel a lot more like City Skylines 1 and a lot less aggressive in terms of contrast. We have first person cameras, economy fixes, better pedestrian pathfinding, a whole bunch. If this isn't enough for you, then head over to Discord and join the Cities 2 modding community head down to mod releases and browse to your heart's content. Some of these are on the Thunderstore already, but some aren't like extended road upgrades. This is one of my favorites at the moment. Just jump in here, find the latest release, head over to GitHub and download the Bepinex 5 zip file onto your computer. From there, head back to the Thunderstore, head into settings, scroll down until you see import local mod, select your file, Hit open, rename it, change the author to the actual author if you'd like, add a description, and import local mod. Now it's installed. Make sure this is checked so that it's enabled, and then just launch your game with the modded button. Simple as that. I'm going to do a few little videos of mod showcases in the upcoming weeks, so stick around for that. And just a quick disclaimer before I go, this is, of course, unofficial, so use at your own risk. These mods could break your game, I so far haven't experienced any troubles with them, but keep that in mind. And with that, happy building.